Hello Anatomy students, this is Rob Swatsky from Harrisburg Area Community College at the York campus and I'm back with some more muscle review videos. In this video, the first of several parts, we'll be focusing on the muscles that move the thigh. This is the gluteus maximus. This is the largest and most superficial of the three gluteus muscles. Its origin is on the ilium of the coxal bone, the sacrum, as well as the coccyx, the tailbone. It inserts onto the gluteal tuberosity of the posterior femur, as well as the iliotibial band. This is this large lateral tendon that runs on the outside of the thigh. The actions of the gluteus maximus include extension and lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip. It also helps us maintain an upright posture, such as when we're standing, by locking the knee in extension. The next set of muscles of the posterior thigh are thigh abductors, where abduction is to swing the leg out to the side, away from the midline of the body abduction away. This is the gluteus medius. This is the second of our three gluteal muscles. We can see the superior portion of the muscle peeking out just above the gluteus maximus, but removing the maximus reveals the rest of the medius. Its origin is on the ilium of the coxal bone and it inserts onto the greater trochanter of the femur. Its actions include abduction and medial rotation of the thigh at the hip. This is the opposite rotational movement compared to the gluteus maximus, which laterally rotates the thigh at the hip. The gluteus medius medially rotates the thigh at the hip. The third gluteus muscle is the gluteus minimus, and we can't see it on the model. It is located directly under the gluteus medius. If we were able to remove the medius, that would reveal the deeper gluteus minimus. The minimus is roughly the same size and shape of the medius, just a little bit smaller, and it has the same origin and insertion points. Its origin on the ilium and inserts onto the greater trochanter of the femur. The minimus also has the same actions as the medius. It's abducting and medially rotating the thigh at the hip. The next group of posterior muscles that move the thigh are also abductors, but they also share another function of lateral rotation in contrast to the medius and minimuses function of medial rotation. The first of these muscles is the piriformis. Piriformis means pear-shaped. One end of the muscle is a little wider and the other end is a little more narrow, similar to the shape of the pear. Its origin is on the sacrum and specifically the anterior sacrum and it inserts onto the greater trochanter of the femur which is a very common insertion point for these muscles in the region. The piriformis is the first of the muscles in this group that abduct and laterally rotate the thigh at the hip. The next of these muscles in the sequence is the gemellus superior, also called the superior gemellus. Either of those names is correct. Its name gemellus is a reference to Gemini, the twins from the signs of the zodiac. This is the superior gemellus, and its identical twin with the same thin strap-like shape is the inferior gemellus, or gemellus inferior. And we can consider both of these muscles together, the superior and inferior gemellus. Even though these two muscles look the same and have the same actions, they have different points of origin. The superior gemellus has an origin 
on the ischial spine of the coxal bone. The inferior gemellus has an origin slightly lower on the coxal bone at the ischial tuberosity. And again, both the superior and inferior gemellus have the same actions of abduction and lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip. Sandwiched between the two gemellus muscles is the next muscle of our group, the obturator internus. It's shown as number 105 here on the model. We can just see the distal portion of the muscle near its insertion point onto the femur. We don't see the larger portion of the muscle near its origin, which is on the margins of the obturator foramen, the large opening within the coxal bone. This muscle also expands out at its origin to the anterior pubis and the posterior ischium. We can also rotate the model a little bit to show some of this proximal origin point here, the larger belly located at the medial thigh. Like the other muscles in this group, the obturator internus inserts onto the greater trochanter of the femur. And just like the other muscles in this group, the actions of the obturator internus are abduction and lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip.